Okay, so sitting right behind me is the new 2024 Grand Highlander Limited. So hey, this new Grand Highlander is absolutely amazing inside and out. You'll really appreciate the refined touches and how Toyota just keeps pushing that envelope a little bit further to bring you the best quality SUVs, cars, trucks, vans, no matter what it is you're looking at. Toyota is known for their legendary quality, their legendary reliability and dependability. Hey, if you're looking for that third row seat option, you don't want to go uh, to the minivan, you got to check out this Grand Highlander. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. I personally feel this is one of the best designs Toyota has come out with uh, in their SUVs in a long time. Everybody loves the RAV4 style. I think this is the perfect complement in between that new RAV4 edginess of the body style and uh, the sleekness and roundness of the uh, current uh, uh, Highlander as we know it. So this is the limited version. And uh, again, this is not the hybrid max. This is just your regular 2.4 liter four cylinder uh, turbo coupled up with uh, the eight speed transmission. The SUV will still tow 5,000 pounds. I love the black wheels. These are 20 inch wheels on this Grand Highlander. Just a really nice body style. The lines are just beautiful. Uh, as impressive as that front end, this rear back end is just a total knockout. As you see the integrated tow package right down below, you have your foot activated lift gate here. And uh, so you just, as long as you have the key on your person, just uh, put your foot underneath, the rear hatch opens up. Look at all that cargo room inside here. Much different than the regular Highlander. And the regular Highlander isn't uh, anything you can shake a stick at. The Limited also, of course, comes with parking sensors, really well hidden. I love how the black wheels just complement the black cladding, the blacked out emblems, but Toyota still put some of the chrome touches on here too, and rightfully so they should. So not only do you have the chrome roof rails, you also have chrome underneath the windows, and that complements uh, the silver and the chrome into the side mirror indicators. Sitting right beside this is your regular Highlander. I wanted to show these two side by side uh, so you can see the difference in size. And uh, I guarantee you this new Grand Highlander, if you've had issues testing out the Highlander in the past with the seating and the third row seat, you won't have a problem in this one. Uh, it's a remarkable vehicle. It's all updated, all fresh uh, from the outside, the inside. Uh, and I guarantee you, uh, if you're looking for that perfect family vehicle that isn't a minivan, uh, you got to go with the Grand Highlander. Let's take a closer look at it. So here's the two sitting side by side. Uh, you have your regular traditional Highlander. This one just happens to be a uh, hybrid Highlander sitting next to the uh, new 2024 Grand Highlander Limited. As you can see, uh, the new Grand Highlander appears to be a little bit wider, it's a little bit longer, and a little bit taller. Uh, the Gr Highlander itself, hey, what a phenomenal vehicle. If you're using the third row seat in a pinch, you have company coming over, you guys are going out to dinner, or uh, maybe you're taking a short road trip down to the uh, ocean or the mountains, hey, it's a great option to go with. If you always constantly need to have people in that third row seat, you don't wanna look past this Grand Highlander. Again, it's completely updated, completely fresh, all new for 2024. Uh, you can see just the, even the difference in the styling of the front end and uh, if you see on the roof lines here, 
You can see that the Grand Highlander is definitely taller. So here, here's a great example. If you're a couple inches higher on the front and the front end here, being that uh, this one uh, it looks like the traditional, the traditional Highlander is parked a couple inches back from the Grand Highlander, but the rear end matches up the same. So, so here's the engine compartment for the Grand Highlander 2.4 liter turbo. If you're a fan of working on your own fluids, as I said in the past in some of my other videos, Toyota makes it very uh, easy to do that. They label everything really clearly. Everything's very easy to find in here. And it's also a quiet inside the cabin. So when you're driving, you're not going to hear a lot of engine noise uh, or road noise. It's going to be very minimal compared to a lot of the other SUVs out there on the market. Uh, Toyota does put a lot of sound dampening material uh, into their cars when they're building them. And especially vehicles like this on the Grand Highlander, uh, it is uh, going to be much quieter inside than, say, a RAV4 will be. Uh, you know, Toyota has been known to foam fill all their A and B pillars uh, so it doesn't give any acoustical feedback. Uh, they put uh, not only the sound dampening and fire blocking material up above on your uh, hood liner, but also on the back of the uh, firewall as well. You can see that uh, it's all there. Speaking about uh, sound dampening material, you know, Toyota has been known to uh, do this in a lot of their vehicles. And uh, what they do is instead of just having a plastic liner in the uh, wheel wells, they actually have almost like a uh, all weather carpeting, if you will. It's, it's made out of an asphalt type material, uh, but it's soft to the touch when these vehicles are clean and it goes all the way up and around. And so if rocks uh, get stuck in the tire, get kicked up from the tire and they hit the wheel well, it will eliminate any acoustical feedback here that you get uh, when those rocks hit the wheel well. So looking in the rear hatch here in the rear cargo bay area, if you're familiar with the room of the traditional Highlanders, uh, you can clearly see a difference. It is wider. It's a little bit longer. One thing I like uh, that they've done with this Grand Highlander is they really had the people sitting in the third row seat in mind when they made this. So uh, you uh, not only uh, do you get you know your rear cup holders, third row seating, but in addition, you also get USB ports, USB C's on both sides, both driver and passenger. Uh, this one comes equipped with the JBL sound system. There's 11 uh, JBL speakers, including the subwoofer in the rear. And then with the seats pulled up, just like the traditional Highlander, you just grab the nylon strap, lift the headrest up, use the shoulder to recline it, and uh, there you go. So 40-60 split. Now, that's probably exactly how uh, people would position that seat. And so it does create quite a bit more room. You have a, what appears to be almost two feet of cargo space behind that third row seat, where in the traditional Highlander, you may have, uh, you may have gotten about a foot. And then right underneath there, you have your uh, little storage bin, a place for your rear cargo cover, your jack. So this is the rear driver door here. And uh, on this version, this again is the limited. You see it's just a nice laid out, very clean, tight finish, fit and finish on the door panel. You do have an extra large sunshade that goes up perforated leather seats captain's chair set up these seats are back all the way and so uh, what i like about this is the leg room the leg 
The leg room that you get in this Grand Highlander for the third row seat passengers is far greater than what, or what you'll find in the traditional Highlander. This is a behind the center console of, of the front. We're sitting in the second row seat here. And so you do have your digital readout for your climate control system, rear heated seats, uh, for USB ports for the second row uh, passengers, and of course a 120 power outlet right down below. It's the center console in between the two captain's chairs. And of course you still get the armrests that fold down on both sides. But uh, nice cup holders, able to fit all size of cups. And then these right here are actually like tablet holders. So they're rubberized and uh, you can fit your tablet right in there. They won't, uh, you won't have to worry about your tablet uh, rattling around and getting damaged. Now the exterior color of this Highlander is the coastal gray. And this does have the black interior. I love how they uh, put the uh, uh, faux wood grain insert right into there. You also have your memory seats, uh, your power mirrors, power windows, nice French stitching on the armrest there, multiple adjustable power driver seat. You have the Grand Highlander stamp right in your door sills. This one also comes equipped with a heated steering wheel, of course Bluetooth, all your safety controls on the steering wheel as well. Another thing I've liked that uh, Toyota has done is they've ta changed the positioning or the uh, place uh, to adjust your tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It used to be left of center on the bottom of the steering column. Now it's just a little tab you pull down. It's much easier to find, much easier to operate. And then uh, the steering wheel goes up and down, in and out. And then once you're done, just lock it right back into position. That's your multi-information display screen. It's an all digital uh, instrument cluster, digital readouts, trip indicators, all wheel drive indicators. Love the steering wheel, nice leather wrap steering wheel, feels great in the hands. Now here's your 12.3 uh, inch touchscreen uh, display. Now, of course, this one hasn't been set up yet for uh, the next owner or the the owner of this vehicle uh, but once you do it's all wireless uh, apple carplay android auto just to uh, sync your phone up connect your bluetooth turn on apple carplay you're good to go one thing i really like also what uh, toyota has been doing is in their uh, in dual independent climate control so you can have driver passenger air temperatures uh, they actually put uh, the temperature in the actual knob itself. So you could adjust it, see that temperature change. Not only do you see it change there, but also in the readout. So on the uh, left hand side, you have your push button start, and the right hand side is a USB uh, C, and then also a, an additional USB C right there. Uh, nice deep bin for your wire, Qi wireless uh, charging on the uh, right hand side, uh, cargo bin on the uh, left hand side. And of course, with your cup holders, uh, you also have a cargo bin there, cargo bin there as well. And uh, these are all adjustable. So depending on the size of the cups, uh, it will accommodate whatever size Slurpee you're drinking. This one comes equipped with your auto stop feature, as most ca new cars do these days. I'm not a fan of them. And uh, therefore, when I'm uh, sitting at a traffic light or before I get going, I just hit the button and I turn it off and uh, that will show up on the screen. You also have uh, in the middle, uh, you can adjust your drive modes. So you can have your normal mode, you could have a sports setting or an economy mode. Uh, these three are all just gonna uh, adjust your throttle differently. So eco mode is gonna reduce your throttle output. It's gonna be a little bit more sluggish when you come off say a red line or a stoplight. Uh, your sport mode will increase your throttle output. Normal is going to do exactly what it should do. And if you are going off road a little bit, uh, if, you're if you're going up to the beach or going up to the mountains, you could adjust for mud and sand. And then on the right hand side, you have your downhill assist and uh, your snow button. Again, the box is nice, big and deep. There's a 12 volt power outlet sitting in there as well.
nice uh, cushioned armrest. I love the wrap, how it looks like it's wrapping around that center to perfectly position your arm. The little uh, tray in the back there. Just looking from the driver's seat, you can see your three rows. Ton of headroom, ton of elbow room. You know, if you've been considering the Highlander and, uh, you know, worried about the uh, cargo room or the room to hold passengers on the inside, and you're thinking maybe I should jump up to the Sequoia because you definitely don't want to go with a minivan. Uh, well, hey, don't. This Grand Highlander is absolutely remarkable. I mean, just looking at the uh, passenger side of the dash there, another USB uh, port on your uh, right hand side. You don't lose the cargo tray. And in fact, they have the uh, wood trim uh, just laying right on top. Uh, love that new wood inlay. It's very elegant. The fit and finish is just tight and just like the car itself. So, hey, that's the new 2024 Grand Highlander Limited. If you're interested in getting a Grand Highlander, uh, either the Limited, the 2.4 liter uh, four-cylinder turbo, or going with the hybrid max engine, hey, reach out to us at Toyota of Renton. Ask for Greg Nelson when you do.